Welcome back. Feels like, feels like three weeks since I've done a pondering. So, sorry it took so long. I've been busy. I've been busy breaking records at 200 subscribers now, 200 plus subscribers on YouTube, which is surreal. So thank you for those that have subscribed. Obviously you saw something you liked. The top videos that seem to be trending in the world of Sliver and Bite TV are my new additions and one, one old edition. So my Bruschetta, which was good two, three weeks ago. Uh, my Thai green curry, my what else was there? My, I can't even remember. How bad's that? And I can't check because you're, I'm filming at the moment. So a lot of fun, really. Just getting the content up onto YouTube at this point in time is the most important aspect of my YouTube journey because if there's not enough of a catalogue there, why would people want to come back and see what I've created? So you can see I'm doing a little cook a little later on. I'm doing hollandaise. So this will be the second sauce in my five mother French sauces playlist. So that's very exciting. I have just got back from the barber which is the second time I've done a pondering after I've been to the barber, which kind of makes sense because if I'm going to get up close and personal with you, I should look my best. So big shout out to her. She's amazing. Biggest, apart from 200 subscribers, I went to a dinner last weekend with some friends. One new friend, one old friend, he hosted. And if you've been looking at any of my socials, you would have noticed that somebody had cooked one of my recipes. And I was fortunate enough that he actually cooked it for a dinner party that I was attending. And it was the sun-dried tomato and Parmesan pasta, an amazing dish. The way he replicated it was every chef's, every impressionable chef's dream. And he admitted that he had cut corners. So the fact that it still created an amazing dish that people were going back for thirds for, amazing, amazing. So, amazing, amazing experience to be on the other end. Yes, it is a friend of mine. So it's not that six degrees of separation type situation because anyone that has recreated one of my recipes, I don't get to, to taste it. So I'm, he's tasted some of my cooking. So he kind of knows the wheelhouse. So. But amazing, amazing experience. I have put up a new podcast episode. That was my fourth episode. And when you listen to it, it's a little bit different because I had somebody tell me that I was a little too scripted. And that's that was interesting to, to hear that feedback, great feedback. So I absolutely just did it from my heart, did it from my gut, and just it spilled out into the microphone. And it felt good. It felt good because it felt so much more genuine. Not that episodes one, two, and three weren't genuine. However, it was, it was a, my three months um, my journey so far as a YouTube creator. So I was able to ad lib and I had some dot points. Whereas the other episodes of the podcast, they were relatively serious. You know, one's talking about 
the food delivery uh, system and you know the impact on merchants and delivery partners and the other one was about recreating your personal brand so I wanted to make sure that they were you know I was getting my point across and they were relatively serious so it was nice to, to change it up my next podcast which will be out shortly that will be in regards to a very important aspect of all of our lives, customer service. I had touched on it in my episode three. However, customer service, I felt, was definitely something that had to be an episode all on its own. Customer service is at its most basic form, interaction. So, and regardless of whether you're a customer or whether you're a friend, it's still, customer service is an element to all of that. I catch up with a friend of mine semi-regularly and I go over to her place for, usually it's a gin and tonic and a cheese board and a cheese and fruit platter. Yes, she's in customer service, so she's got it just built in. But the way she presents it and the way that she hosts me, custom service. The next podcast is going to be possibly controversial because customer service these days is subjective. It's, you've got a a group of people that don't want any service. You've got people that want to be pounced on as soon as they get into the store. You've you've got the lazy ones that are, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll let you know if I need help. And you know, I guess people are so highly strung these days. It's, it's so easy to offend. So it'll be very interesting. So stay tuned for that one. Lastly, thank you. Thank you to all of the people that have subscribed, continue to tune in into Sliver and Bite TV and or the, the podcast. It's, it continues to be fun and I am really enjoying creating content. So the fact that I have broken through to triple digits is just so much fun. It makes it viable. And I spoke to my friend, my barber, who I want to sponsor an episode. It, it just, it improves that visibility and people, as much as they hate adverts, it makes the actual exercise legitimate. They're like, oh, like this is, this is real. You know, somebody's paying to actually advertise on his platform. So very exciting. Well, until next time, thank you for tuning in and we'll see you soon.